Hello guys, Marius here. Today I want uh, to present the audio sound blaster from Creative. It's an external sound card. I want on the beginning to show how to connect and after that we will talk about the fun functionality and how it's, uh, it's connected on the laptop and on the other stuffs here. Here the setup is very simple. You have two Boston, Boston speakers, B70 with three, three ways, a laptop, an amplifier, I think it's a 20 years old, and a sound card. The signal is coming like that. The signal is coming from laptop via USB. It's going inside the audio card and from the audio card with RCA, we are coming on the amplifier and from amplifier is going to the speakers. Also, the TV is connected on the sound card by uh, optical cable. So this sound card have also the optical cable. So let's go to see how it's uh, it's connected the audio card on the amplifier and after that the, the computer to the audio card. So let's go like that. So this is how it looks the audio card, the external card. So here you have more details. So it's a Creative Labs module number SB1240. Yeah, It's made in China but this is uh, doesn't matter so much i'm using this sound card for at least five years it's doing a really good job here is the mute you see also it's visible on the laptop there mute and here is the volume here on the front you have the connection for headphones and for the microphone on the back you have like that so let's see if we have enough you have here a ground line in and phono in so it's also also you can connect a phono uh, phono disc here and here is the ground for this or line in so like example if you are if you want to come with signal from I don't know, from a tuner or a telephone or a, I don't know, from a tablet you can connect here here the second connections are from line out so this is the RCA out optical cable it's going here it's optical in and optical out. So also this one is giving the signal out. So you can connect directly on the, another amplifier which is using the optical out, optical in uh, input. Yeah, it's very nice. And here is the USB cable. It's a micro USB connection. Here is the RF uh, mm, ferrite. And this is how it's going on the back. So now I will show you where it's connected behind the amplifier. So you saw two RCA cables are going behind the, the amplifier. Yeah? So let's see behind the amplifier on the back side of the amplifier where they are going. So like you see here, the cables which are coming out from, from a sound card, they are coming on DVD auxiliary input. Yeah, so this is the back side of an amplifier. This one is a Denon UPA F88. And here are the cables which they are going through the speakers. So output output from amplifier to speakers. So signal is coming from laptop on this USB cable, is going inside the audio card, and from the audio card is coming signal and is going in amplifier. The signal is amplified on pre-amplifier and power amplifier and the signal is coming is going uh, on the on the speakers and uh, about the speakers i will uh, i will put the camera on front of them to see how they looks are three-way speakers it's from beston the name it's beston b70 yeah three-way bass mid-range and uh, Twitter, you see it's a fabric Twitter. Best on, they are made in Germany. Impedance 8 ohms, 50, 70 watts. And the frequency is from 40 to 22 kilohertz. Yeah. So now, like I said, this is the setup. Here is the sound card. You can find on the internet. I don't know if they produce any more, these sound cards, but is doing a really really good job and this is how i connect this now i told you it's connected also the optical from tv you can run also with the tv signal from the tv stations it's going inside the card it's transformed from digital to analog and the signal is going through that to 
to that RCA jacks. And the signal is going like that to jacks, to RCAs, or jacks, depends what you are using. It's coming back on an amplifier, and from amplifier through that cables is going on the stereo mode on the speakers. Sound Blaster Creative SVX Pro Studio. Here you have this LED to to be visible when it's powered. This uh, this sound card. And let's check one more time here below what is written. So it's a Creative Labs model number SB1240, 1240. It's. Uh, Tested to comply with VSCC standards for home or office use. Yeah. Complies with Canadian ICS 003 Class B. I think here it's in Ukrainian, Ukrainian language, European communi community. I like because he is using this, this foots, these are original. Very good grip, down, nice. Behind, again, the connections. It's very nice for me, it's, go it's doing a good job. It's very light. I think also it's possible to, to remove the cover to see what is inside, but maybe in another video. So this is the card which I'm using for my tests. If you want to see another test, we can do it. So here is the mute. Yeah, let's see. If you want to see other tests, leave down in comments. And um, if you like this video, thumb up, share it with others. If you have suggestions, type down, like I said already. And uh, we'll see on the next video. Soon uh, I will start a restoration of a Pioneer S6-1250. It will be complete restoration for that. All the cards, all the accessories, everything, it'll, it will be cleaned and uh, overhauled. Of course, it will be a recap. Tests, power tests and everything what, uh, what is necessary to do to, to fix uh, that beautiful beautiful pioneer s6 1250 okay so that's uh, everything from this video stay tuned remain safe and uh, enjoy your life and enjoy good music see you all the best bye bye